welcome back to the kr biology classes hi nana today the class is rhizosphere chalo let us go we have to know about the rhizosphere right what is rhizosphere for the first time the term rhizosphere was coined by the scientist lorenz hiltner he is a great physiologist so according to him rhizosphere means actually rhiza means root okay so according to the hiltner rhizosphere means the area surrounding the root which is inhabited by unique microbial population it is called as the rhizosphere if we want to know very simply it is just nothing but the area around the roots which contains the microorganisms it is nothing but the rhizosphere rhizosphere means uh, the area surrounding the roots which was inhabited or which was uh, accumulated by the microorganisms such a space or such an area is known as the rhizosphere so this rhizosphere why why these microorganisms are accumulated in this rhizosphere only means this rhizosphere has root exudates that means root secretions these secretions has so many nutrients these nutrients are very needed for the microorganisms hence these microorganisms are accumulated around the roots and they utilize these nutrients next thing is part of rhizosphere so the rhizosphere has mainly three parts one is the endorhizosphere second one is the rhizoplane and third one is the ectorhizosphere what is the endorhizosphere this endorhizosphere contains a part of cortex and endodermis why because this cortex is known as endorhizosphere you know the word is endo endo means inside so in this cortex cells has spaces in between them so these spaces are occupied by the microorganisms and they are utilizing those nutrients and they are residing inside the root hence this place is known as the endorhizosphere next one is the rhizoplane it was just simply called as the boundary that means it it is in between the endorhizosphere and ectorhizosphere right so this endorhizosphere ends with the endodermis and the rhizoplane was present in the ectodermis area it was just a small line in between the endorhizosphere and ectorhizosphere okay and the third one is the ectorhizosphere the name it has the meaning ecto ecto means outside so immediately next to the rhizoplane that is immediately next to the root surface all that area is known as the ectorhizosphere i hope you understand nana so in detail we will discuss about this topic in the coming class thank you thanks for watching